Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Hi again, everyone. All right, amazing pictures coming to us out of Phoenix, Arizona. This was yesterday. Heavy rainfall in Arizona, three inches in a half hour, causing some of the worst flooding in recent memory in and around Phoenix. And it's all because, of course, this time of the year, it's the monsoon. So several storms move onshore, create heavy rainfall, and in some instances, just too much rainfall. Let me explain what's going on here by taking a look at our satellite picture. You can see this flow off of the Pacific Ocean, so this moisture just streams in across the southwest. Of course, there's some higher elevation mountains. It creates that lift. You get showers and thunderstorms, and the hot air that we're experiencing here is really conducive to that flow riding all the way up through the Rockies and up into the northern Midwest. Meantime, we stay dry, hazy, hot, and humid as a result. So tomorrow morning, if you're working outside, Already by 9 a.m., that temperature is approaching 90 degrees, 97 already by 1 p.m., so please hydrate and wear that sunscreen. The UV and heat index forecast goes something like this. It's hitting a 9 at noon, a 10 at 2 p.m., as the heat index peaks between 107 and 108 tomorrow. Now, right now, we don't have a heat advisory in effect, but make sure you tune in to Kirsten Horn starting at 4.30 in the morning tomorrow, and I'm sure she's going to be telling you about a heat advisory that will be issued. This is Hurricane Earl. Moving to the west across the Yucatan of Mexico will continue to drift to the west. All of the computer models keep it in southern Mexico, none of it turning it up into Texas or into the Gulf Coast. So we are not going to get any relief from Earl in terms of rainfall. And it would certainly been nice, unfortunate for the folks along the Texas Gulf Coast. But we almost at this point need a slow moving tropical system to come across Texas up into Oklahoma and dump substantial rain on us. 100 the high today, fifth time this year we've hit 100. 81 the low, 94 and 73 the average is 113. The record in 2011 is that 2011 heat wave peaked with that record high on this date. So five 100 degree days now, nine times we've hit 98, seven times at 97. It's 28 days now above 95 degrees this summer. 84 currently outside, southeast wind at seven miles an hour, relative humidity 65% in Greenwood tonight, 92. This is the feels like temperature. The heat index near One Oak Field is very warm. Overnight tonight, 79, steamy, starlit, very warm night with light southerly winds, almost a stagnant kind of stifling air mass. 75 in Bartlesville and Talala tonight. Claremore also down to 75. Tahlequah 72, 74 at Okima, 75 at Bristow with those light southerly winds. Upper 70s at Eufaula, McAllister down to 77 degrees overnight tonight. Then tomorrow, starting off upper 70s to around 80 degrees by noon, we're hitting 96 as it heats up fast. Tomorrow afternoon, look for a high temperature around 102. That's blistering sunshine. I mean, intense sunshine on us all afternoon. 100 at Sky Took, 100 at Pryor, 99 at Venita and Grove. Muskogee tomorrow hits 101. Okmulgee up to 101. Bristow also hitting 101 degrees. Poto, Eufaula, Henrietta, and McAllister and Seminole up to 101 degrees. Here's the seven-day forecast. Maybe just a tad cooler on Friday thanks to more cloud cover and a 20% chance of rain. Saturday also a 20% chance for rain. A high temperature of 100 degrees. 98 Sunday, 20% chance of rain. Upper 90 still on Monday. In fact, last night if you were watching at 10, we showed you the extended out August outlook, and it really doesn't look like we get any kind of break from this until maybe the 17th or 18th of the month. So